In our hyper-connected world, a new kind of battlefield has emerged, not of soil and steel, but of data and code. Welcome to the Code of Shadows, where digital crimes are committed and where a new breed of detective fights back. Think about it. Every click, every swipe, every online transaction leaves a digital footprint. For most of us, it's just part of daily life. But for cyber criminals, these footprints are pathways into our most private spaces. They can steal identities, drain bank accounts, and disrupt entire systems, all from behind the anonymity of a screen. The crimes are silent, often invisible, but the damage is very, very real. So, how do we fight an enemy we can't see? We follow the trail they leave behind. This is the world of digital forensics. These are not your typical detectives in trench coats. They are cybersecurity experts, ethical hackers, and data analysts. They dive deep into the digital abyss, sifting through lines of code, encrypted files, and network logs. It's like piecing together a puzzle where every piece is a zero or a one. They use powerful tools to recover deleted data from a suspect's hard drive, trace the origin of a malicious email back through a maze of servers, or analyze malware to understand its purpose and creator. Each piece of digital evidence tells a story. A timestamp can place a suspect at their keyboard at the exact moment of a su a stray fragment of code can link them to other digital crimes. It's a high-stakes cat-and-mouse game played across the globe. The challenge is immense. Criminals are constantly evolving their tactics, using more sophisticated encryption and methods to cover their tracks. But for every shadow they create, there are digital detectives shining a light, working tirelessly to bring them to justice and keep our digital world safe. The code of shadows is complex, but it's not unbreakable. Thanks for watching. If you found this fascinating, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of technology. See you in the next one.